In the West, some have called me mad, they know the truth but continue to lie, they know that Libya is independent, not in a colonial grip, that my vision is and has been clear for my people and I will fight to my last breath to keep us free, may Allah Almighty help us to remain faithful and free. One would have thought that the president of a country with a permanent seat and the right of veto would have protected us and sent us peace. And what did we get instead? Laser-guided bombs. This is their approach, we will lead the world, whether you like it or not, and will punish anyone who opposes us. If the Europeans and Americans tell you that they love you, be careful. They love the wealth of your land. Let the free people of the world know that we could have bargained over and sold out our cause in return for a personal secure and stable life. We received many offers to this effect but we chose to be at the vanguard of the confrontation as a badge of duty and honor. Many Americans don't know about the outside world. The majority have no concern and no information about other people. They couldn't even find Africa on a map. I think Americans are good, but the US will be taken over and destroyed by the Zionist lobby. Americans don't see this. They're getting decadent. Obama wants to kill me, to take away the freedom of our country, to take away our free housing, our free medicine, our free education, our free food, and replace it with American-style thievery, called capitalism. Are we Muslims, or are we Shiites and Sunnis? When did Prophet Muhammad say, I have brought you Shi'at Islam and Sunni Islam? For whose benefit is this? It is for the benefit of the enemy, for the benefit of colonialism. I'm a Bedouin warrior, a revolutionary from tents. I'm not going to leave this land, I will die here as a martyr. They told Americans they needed democracy and freedom, never realizing it was a cut throat system. But they were enchanted with those words, never realizing that in America, there was no free medicine, no free hospitals and housing, no free education and no free food, except when people had to beg. I'm not in a seat to resign from it. Muammar is not a president to quit his post, he does not even have a parliament to dissolve. Muammar is the leader of the revolution until the end of time. I am a fighter, a revolutionary from tents. I will die as a martyr at the end. Political struggle that results in the victory of a candidate with 51% of the votes leads to a dictatorial governing body disguised as a false democracy, since 49% of the electorate is ruled by an instrument of governing they did not vote for, but had imposed upon them. This is dictatorship. The United Nations Security Council since its establishment did not provide us with security but on the contrary provides us with terror and sanctions. It was used against us. It should not be called a security council, it should be called a terror council. The United States of America is not the international police of the world. If all African countries could merge to form a single state, we would be in a better position of defending ourselves against the Western violence. If we were to restrict ourselves to the support of Muslims only, that would be an example of bigotry and selfishness. True Islam is the one that defends the weak, even if they are not Muslims. My mission is to wake the African leaders to unify our continent. How can an African country face a Europe that is united, negotiate with the USA, Japan or China? We must unite or perish. I do not wish to die, but if it comes to that, to save this land, my people and the thousands who are all my children, then so be it. I am a revolutionary, and revolutionaries do not retire or resign. Revolutionary leaders do not have expiry dates, like tin drinks. Whoever possesses the house in which you dwell or the income on which you live, possesses your freedom. Freedom is indivisible. For people to be free, they must possess the possibility of satisfying their own needs. Whoever possesses the means of fulfilling your needs controls or exploits you. I will not go into exile to any foreign country. I was born here in Libya, and I will die here. This country was a desert, and I turned it into a forest, where everything can grow.